Welcome to another Nextcloud uh, tutorial video. Today we'll be talking about a specific application within Nextcloud called the external sites. So if you don't know, external sites gives you the ability to be able to em embed um, external sites inside of your Nextcloud server. So you can have um, another web page or a website um, such as YouTube or a specific YouTube video um or um guacamole in this case we're going to embed that apache guacamole in next cloud so that way when you log into your next cloud you can access that other site in this case guacamole directly in next cloud without having to keep switching between pages so without wasting more time we're going to go straight into the video so the first thing you want to do is log into your next cloud server once you log in as administrator of course you want to go into the apps option so once you open apps you want to search for external links so once you search for external sites sorry um, once you find the site uh, the current version as of today is 5.2.0 you want to download and enable the site uh, external sites application so in my case i already have external sites downloaded once you do that you want to head into administration settings and on the left hand side you want to find external sites so when you find that you open that up this is going to be blank for you okay um in this case what you need to do there's two things you need to do or configure in here if you have icons for your site um, by default, external sites will use this little um, icon here of like the world map for all your external links that you add. Um, but if you had a, a custom logo like I do here, uh, since we're doing guacamole, I just downloaded an icon from Google of um, a picture of a remote kind of two computers remotely connecting to each other. So you can download something like that, upload it, make sure it is in PNG format. Um, once you upload that uh, icon, the next thing you want to do is go to the new site option. And now you can add the name of the site, anything, you can call it anything you want. That's the name that is going to be displayed up here. As you can see, I already have a site added remote and you can see it's displayed up here as another option. So once you put the name, you want to put the URL. So you have to begin with HTTP or HTTPS, depending on if your site is running HTTP or HTTPS. Okay. So once that's completed, the other thing you can do is you can set the languages. You can limit the site access option only to specific users but in my case i want every person to be able to access this external site um, you can limit the devices that users can use to access this site so if they log on to next cloud you only want them to be able to do this on the browser you can select this you don't want them to use the um, android or ios app to access external links you can set that to only browser in my case i'm not worried about it they can do whatever they want and then you set the icon obviously because uh, you can upload multiple icons of course so you select the icon and then you want to select if you want the thing to be em embedded as the header the settings menu um, or user quota and public um, footer for um, the position in this case we want it to be in the header up here so you can add the external link site anywhere. You can add it in the settings menu. You can add in the user quota and public footer, but we want it to be here. That's why we selected the header. Um, if this site you're trying to embed does not accept for you to embed it within your next cloud, what you can do is you can select this option so that when the user clicks on the site it opens a new tab and redirects them to that page in our case my apache guacamole supports x frame um, framing option so i changed my apache um, configuration for the web server to allow my domain to be able to frame um, my guacamole website so you can do the same for apache or gigs or if you use ha proxy or whatever kind of proxy you use you can configure the X frame options to allow your um, next cloud domain to frame 
that specific website. So once you do that, that's it. You just save it and that's all you need to do. So um, once that's completed, you're going to notice that that um, application or external link is going to be added on here. So now that we've added our guacamole website on here, we can click on there and you can see it automatically logs me in into my Apache guacamole. Note, this is going to be different for you. The reason why it automatically logs me into my Apache Guacamole is because my next cloud server and my Apache Guacamole are using um, ADFS SSO for um, authentication. In your case, if you're not using ADFS or some other sort of SSO authentication that passes credentials using tokens, once you open the guacamole link it is going to present you with the login page still going to be the same all you just need to do is log in and once you log in then you're going to be in guacamole like i am now in this case i can open up my connections and make an ssh connection like i normally would as you can see i'm doing this all within nextcloud and now I was able to establish an SSH connection within Nextcloud because I was able to embed my Guacamole instance into Nextcloud. So if I exit and then I select, I can either go back home or log out, but I'm just going to go back home because I'm still logged in. And then I can go to my files, work on other things in Nextcloud. I can open a new document. And um, while I'm working on that document, I can go back and forth, uh, go back to my remote server, um, log into another system, and then come back to files and continue what I'm doing inside of Nextcloud. So since we tested that on the web browser, before we continue with this video, I just wanted you guys to see how it looks on the Nextcloud app. So I'm going to open up my phone and I'm going to select the Nextcloud app and I'm going to go to the more option. And as you can see, we have the remote, which is my guacamole added on there. So if I select that remote, now we see we're presented with the login page for um, my Apache guacamole. Once again, my login page looks different because I am using um, SAM or ADFS login for my Apache guacamole. So I'm going to go in here and log in real quick with my username. I'm going to do my password. Note, we are still within the um, Nextcloud application. So once I'm logged in, I'm going to verify my two-factor authentication. And once that's complete, you can see that I'm successfully logged into my Apache Guacamole server. So if I were to go back, now it brings me back to the Nextcloud application. If I go back on there and I try the remote again, I'm also being brought back to my Apache Guacamole installation. So this is a really nice feature if you have users and you have multiple web pages and you want them to be able to access all those pages within your Nextcloud server without having to open multiple uh, tabs within their browser. The only drawback to this is the website you are embedding onto Nextcloud has to allow the um, Nextcloud to frame them. If not, you're not going to be able to do that. So one, you're going to have to configure that website to allow framing. And two, if it's a website that you can't do that, then the only option is it's going to redirect um, the user to their website on another tab so in this case let's try that let's try to embed it or embed let's try to embed a website that i don't have control over so in this case i can just call it facebook and then we can try to do facebook.com okay so as you can see on here i added an icon and i did everything else uh, so if we go back here and try to open Facebook, if you notice, it says that Facebook refused to connect. If I go to inspect, you can see on here that the browser cannot display facebook.com because 
um, the X frame options is set on Facebook's web server. So that's denying us from framing Facebook on our website. Unlike the other one for, for guacamole, because I have control over that website, I was able to allow framing options from my domain. So if we go back here to administrative settings, external sites, and if we open this option and we come to this site does not allow embedding. Now, if we click on here on Facebook, you can see we are redirected to a new tab. Unlike my uh, guacamole, where when we do it, we access that inside of Nextcloud. So those are the options that you have using this um, awesome application within Nextcloud. Uh, if you have any more questions about the external sites um, application, you can leave it down in the comment section below. If you like the video, please give us a thumbs up and please do not forget to subscribe to the channel. Thank you guys and have a wonderful day.